Okay, I think we're live on Facebook. I think we're live on YouTube. Hopefully power does not go out. Let me know if you can see me. <laughs> and we're live. Why do I always start off the same way? And we're live. Of, uh, I need to come up with a different, a different Maybe start we'll line. We'll and we'll we're live. Song? I don't know. You need to come up with something else in the comments as well. With We Live. I feel like it's always the same thing. You're about to lose a We Live. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? So my name is Marina. I'm going to be your host for tonight. I'm joined here by my fiance, Alex. Hello. Hello. Um, and we're gonna start in about 10 minutes or so. So I'm gonna give you guys 10 minutes for setup. Um, while people are joining, please say hi in the comments. Let me know where you're from. Let me know what you're drinking tonight. Um, you have about 10 minutes to finish setting up, to get your drink, grab your snacks, whatever else you need. Jana just joined, hi Jana. Okay, so while we're waiting, first of all, let me know how the sound is. Alex, oh, sound is fine. <laughs> hey, Zoila. Huh? No, I know, I'm just asking you. Sounds great. Sounds great, great. Um, so guys, so tonight we're gonna be painting this painting. Let me take away this little message over here. It's called Sound of Music. I think Alex named it that this month, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> Good one, Alex. Okay, so let me switch back. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna go over the supplies with you. So we have our canvas. Check. <laughs> Delayed. I didn't know where I am. Check. We have our palette paper. Oh, I forgot to set up the paints, but I'm gonna do it right now. Hold up. Oh, so give me, yeah, I don't have my pains here. So this little 10 minute setup. Well, we have 10 minutes to do this. Yeah. So I'm gonna do my colors right now. Two early on the checklist. So we have our five colors of paint. We have black, white, and the primary colors. Alex, I hope you know what the primary colors are by now. Don't ask questions you're not ready to hear the answer for. <laughs> okay, so although this looks very dark, this is actually blue and it's called phthalo blue. It's a new type of blue that we're using. I think I'm pr pronouncing it the right way, but I might not be. Like I think it's I think it's phthalo blue. Someone please correct me. Okay, so we have our five colors of paint. I'm, I'm waiting for your check. Check. We have our palette paper, um, shiny side up. So I have two sheets right here. I have two brushes, a large brush. Check. And a small brush. Small check. I have my cup with water, very Clean important. Clean water, check. Clean water for now. I have my paper towels. It's a bonus. bonus much, check. much needed. And last but not least, I have my drink. And we actually ran out of wine, so tonight it's gin and tonic with a little bit of cucumber, a little bit of lime. What about you? I have a Lagavulin 16. A what? A Lagavulin 16. I don't know what you just said. It's okay, it's a scotch. I think this is the first time I'm hearing this. Maybe the first time you're paying attention to it. But maybe it has a lot of peat. Do 
Do Pete, remember? I do remember from Ireland, I think. But it's got. So hey guys, if you're just joining, welcome. My name is Marina, I'm joined here by Alex. We're gonna start in approximately four minutes. So I have my setup over here, um, but we also have an easel that I forgot to show. So if you guys purchase the box, this is actually also an easel. So all you have to do, it's super easy, it takes like 30 seconds to set up. You just fold the lid back, I think one of my cameras froze. Uh oh. Did it freeze? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> my mom is calling me. Sorry, guys. Okay. Um, so this is the easel. So you just fold the lid back and put tape on this side and on this side. Trying to show it here. And then all you do is you put your canvas right on here and it becomes your easel and it's actually more stable than a regular easel that I use. All right. Ina's on. Hi, Ina. Hi, Cindy. Ina knows about the scotch. Does she? Hi, Shrada. Hi, Zoila. I think I said hi to Zoila before, mm. like a second ago. <laughs> Yelena from Nelson's Facebook, hi. Nelson, that's a bold move, letting someone else on your Facebook. All right, guys, we have it's about trust. three minutes. Is it time for a refill? Okay, I mean, where you're I don't at. know, I mean, it's like halfway there. Is that healthy for maybe not? But maybe if you need to make sure you don't get up again. Who knows? Not yet. We have some elevator music in the background because we can't really play anything else without getting flagged. So I'm sorry. I apologize in advance. But you guys are welcome to play your own music. Let us know if it's too loud. I'm probably going to turn it off once we start. Hi, Lena. Okay, so I think just one person knows about your scotch. How do you pronounce it again? Lagavulin. Lagavulin. Okay. Hi, Heidi. So we are actually using the primary colors. So we have yellow, blue, and red. And this is actually a different type of blue. It's phthalo blue. I, I may be mispronouncing it, um, but it's a darker kind of blue. And once you add white to it, it becomes a beautiful sky blue. And then we also have white and black. All right, New Jersey is in the house. Okay, All right, you... where is everyone else from? I see New Jersey. I know a few people had power outages, so I'm hoping Hopefully it's gonna okay. be okay. No damage. Uh, okay, pronunciation is on point. Okay, so I'm actually gonna take this off and reveal my actual canvas. That's right, everyone knows they're actually gonna paint. I know. I'll it's try. It's not just the time lapse playing. You never know with technology these days. Is blue and red already mixing? It's mixing, uh, all of them are mixing a little bit, that's okay. You renegade. Brooklyn in the house, New Jersey, Ohio, California, what, what? All right, I think we're ready. Does anyone need more time to set up? Everyone's 
Alex, do you need more time to set up? Oh, we ready. We ready? We ready. Okay, it's 8.11. We're like not even punctual today. All right, guys, so the first step is gonna be to raise your large brush in the air and repeat after me. I promise. I promise. To relax and have fun. To relax and have fun. To not judge my painting. To not judge my painting. Or the painting of others. Or the painting of others. And to be fearless. And to be fearless. Wow, I actually remembered it this time. Practice makes perfect, huh? Cheers, we're ready to start. All right, guys, so you're gonna use that large brush that you already are holding, and we're gonna mix a medium blue. So we're just gonna take our phthalo blue. I'm just gonna keep saying phthalo because I feel like I'm still mispronouncing it, but that's okay. And we're gonna add just a little bit of white to it. Can you guys see what I'm mixing? I don't think you can. Okay, so we're gonna make a medium blue and we're gonna start filling the top of the canvas and going in horizontal strokes with your brush. So we're gonna fill in about three fourths of this canvas, but as we're going down, we're gonna keep adding more and more white so that it gets lighter and lighter as you go. So I'm starting off with a medium blue, but once I get down to the three fourths, it's gonna be much lighter. And you guys can just dip it a little bit into water, not too much, just to make it easier for you to paint this. Should we be sparing on the blue? There no, blue. no, there, you have you have enough blue. We got enough blue. We got enough. We're good, I think. Right. Confidence <laughs> is key. Let me know if I should turn off this elevator music. It's not bad. I don't know. I kind of miss like being in the elevator at work and like actually listening to this, you know? So it gives me good vibes. Okay, so I'm just adding a little bit more white to it. And just continuing to paint. Hey, Jane. See, this color is so different from what you actually see on your palette paper. It's like a beautiful sky blue. So I'm just blending more and more white into this and just continuing to go in the horizontal strokes. <laughs> and guys, just remember that this is your painting. So if you wanna make the sky green or pink or purple or whatever, you can totally do that. Let it fly. You don't have to follow me exactly. So I'm using the phthalo blue with a little bit of white and I'm going at the top of my canvas, I'm just going in horizontal strokes and then mixing in more and more white um, and then going down about three fourths of the way. This angle is a little hard. 
satanic light. <laughs> I don't know. I just looked at that and I felt ashamed that I, I didn't know that. But also, I don't know how to pronounce that at all. I'm, I'm not even going to attempt. That was written with, like, confidence. I, like, believe it. <laughs> it's longer than my last name, so I'm just not going to not gonna try. One of, the, one of the few things. So I'm just making the blue lighter and lighter by adding more and more white to it. I'm starting to get annoyed with this elevator music. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the dry brush sounds are better than the music. So I'm going about till here or so. Is anyone painting for the very first time? Let me know in the comments. Alex, I know you're not a first time painter. I'm a regular painter, right? I don't believe that for a second. No one has seen it. It's just harsh. I'm a private painter, as they call it. I don't know. We live together and I haven't seen it yet. The, the collection is, is for the thyself. said me but I wonder if she, first time with us or first time painting I think first time painting welcome Ina wait I don't believe that for a second but welcome this is a really easy painting you'll get through this she's pretty creative I feel like she means with us <laughs> So I just made it a little bit too light on the top. So I'm going in with a darker blue and just going right over that. So it just blends a little bit more. So I'm going to be making lots of mistakes along with you guys.
I feel like it looks so different on, on my screen. Than real life. <laughs> Do you like the way it looks? I can't tell if you're like laughing at what I just said because your reactions are so delayed. Yeah, it's more like the reaction here. <laughs> Where? I was Your heart? Replying to a, a, a comment. I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> did what? Just added a bright white stripe to my canvas. Why not, you? You want to know. So now that I added this white stripe by accident, I'm just gonna add a little bit more of the light blue just to fix it. The phthalo. The phthalo. See, that was so easy. We can't hear you well. Is it this one? Okay. All right, I think we fixed the sound. Who knows? Maybe. So someone just asked if the video will be available later to paint. Yes, it will be. So it's going to be posted on Facebook and on YouTube right afterwards. So you could catch up or watch it at any other time. All right, guys, how's everyone doing with their sky, with their phthalo blue? Mine's rocking. Is this a... Whoops. <laughs> that was a splatter on my painting. But you know what? It's, it's going to be fixed. And it's fixed just like that. Just like that. Okay, so we're gonna give it a couple of minutes or so. Just let it dry a little bit if you guys are done. Um, and then we're gonna move on to the clouds. Those fluffy clouds. I, I, I just looked out my window to see if I could see anything, but I can't. <laughs> a little refill action a little refill yeah you guys could get your refill All right, how's everyone doing? Do we want to move on? Do we want to wait a little bit? Let me know in the comments.
What? Leo month is nearly upon us. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. All right, first time painter is ready. Okay, so the next step is going to be the clouds. So we are going to add just a little bit of black, just very, very little to our lightest color that we have mixed here already. So we're adding just a tiny bit of black to the light blue color that you have going on on your palette already. And we're gonna create a light grayish blue color. So I just added, I'm trying to show you guys my palette paper. Just added a little bit of black literally just like i touched the tip of my brush with it few strands not even not just like even. one strand just one strand, just one wow. strand. it's precision so we want to get this nice gray bluish color so this is really the fun part guys so we're gonna make the shape of your clouds using the gray. So feel free to go crazy, feel free to make your clouds any shape you want. If you want them to look like a, I don't know, monster, dragon. a horse, dragon, dragon, whatever, feel free to do that. So we are gonna start by, we're gonna tap our brush very lightly on the canvas in circular motions. So I'm just gonna create my fluffy cloud over here. So I'm just lightly, going in a circular motion on the canvas and creating the shape of my cloud. So you're just mapping out where your cloud is gonna be. I like see all these steps. In theory, they look doable, but then I feel like if I was to apply them, they are doable. Look how easy this is. I'm just going in a circular motion Boy, with my I brush and that's it. Up. There's no way. And if you guys don't like the shape of your cloud, you could always cover it up with your light blue. So there's really no way to mess this up. How do you use another color or what are we talking about? What? No idea. Andy, is that another color, or, or what are we talking about there? <laughs> so I'm just creating this interesting shape with the gray. And you could just um, add some horizontal lines to the bottom of your cloud. My cloud looks really crooked on the camera. That's okay, because I'm gonna fix it. All clouds are a little crooked. I know, they're never perfect. They're, you know. Mm -hmm. They're how we imagine. And then I'm gonna add maybe another cloud here. And you could go crazy with it. Your whole sky could be filled with clouds if you want just be a cloudy day? It could be. Hmm. Where was the sound music? Where was it? Yeah. Like where was it filmed? Yeah. I think it was Austria. I was in the I for seven as well, six so week. <coughs> but Austria is a much better guess. I'm pretty sure it was Austria. If anyone knows for sure, Please let us know. How did you know that you were? Because I think I looked it up before I named it. Because I, if I had a question about it, I needed to know. Also, can I just tell you that one person on my Instagram didn't join this because he hated the sound of music. He's like, I would love to do this painting, but I hate the sound of music, so I'm not going to do it. So I blame it all on you for naming it this. What about all the other people who liked it? I don't know. Do I get like counter credit for that? Or? I don't know. <laughs> what are we talking about here? 
So I'm also I'm gonna do a few horizontal strokes underneath my cloud just to kind of give it a straight-ish line on the bottom, but it, it's not gonna be perfect. It looks like such a gray day, but we're gonna, it's gonna brighten we're gonna, up. It, we're gonna make it it's brighter. Gonna brighten up too. I feel like my clouds look too like typical, so I have to change them. them. I have to untypicalize them a little bit. Okay, so now we're gonna wash our brush completely because now we're gonna use the white to add some highlights to it. Kind of brighten it up. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some white on my brush. So I just picked up a little bit of white and then I'm gonna add some highlights also going in a circular motion really lightly on your canvas. So try not to apply a lot of pressure to it. So I'm just going in a circular motion and applying some white highlights to the tops and also defining the shape of the clouds. So also I want some highlights here. So I'm just defining my cloud here. Or maybe it's a it's a cluster of clouds. Is everyone calm? Oh yeah. <laughs> so I'm just defining them a little bit and I'm letting the white blend into the gray a little bit. So I'm just continuing to add the white to define my cloud a little bit. And right now my white is pretty much blending into the gray, but I'm gonna add more white to it just so it's even brighter. Did you say something? 
So I'm adding more of the white to the edges of my cloud just to give it more highlights. sitting on the seats edge of their seats about sound and music you were correct what austria oh i thought I salzburg austria well done that should have been a trivia question that was a free Looking fluffier and fluffier. Brightening up. I think Jana has like seven paintings by now. Could ask her. If you guys feel like you added maybe too much white, you could always take away some of it by adding more of the gray or the light blue back. So just keep playing with it till you get a shape that you like. And I'm adding a little bit of white to just the bottom of my cloud, just a little bit. That to brighten them up or to give them? Yeah, just to give a little bit of a shape on the bottom. More depth in their shapes. Yeah, and you guys could take your smaller brush and go in with the highlights again and just define it a little bit more. I don't know why, but I like working with the smaller brush as well. So you're just doing the same thing. You're adding the highlights in circular motion. So you could see which brush you like better. Some people like working with a smaller brush more.
and feel free to get crazy with your shape. I hope so. Me too. If you guys made a dragon cloud, please, please, please share that with me. Do you have a favorite type of cloud, Alex? Like, do you like the fluffy ones? Do you like ones that are just like blended into the sky? Do you like little, like, bumpy clouds? I like the ominous fluffy clouds. I don't know what a bumpy cloud was. I don't know why I just said the that. Ominous, fluffy cloud. So predictable. Don't be a hater. So I'm just adding more highlights at the top of my cloud just to define it a little bit more. I'm gonna switch over to my bigger brush. I don't know why I'm using the small brush this whole time. Hi, Luda. 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 How's everyone doing with their clouds? You could also add a few horizontal strokes just with your white, just to create just, um, I guess the clouds spreading into the sky. Oh, layering. Yeah, so you could just do that on the sides a little bit. Optional. I feel like it's harder to get really bright white highlights on there with a big brush so you guys can use the smaller brush to go in there and just add more of the highlights at the top. Looking so fluffy. It's
you guys could go in there with more blue if with you could even add some pink to it right sunset action going or, or maybe just... right after a, a storm oh, it's usually a little bit pinkish there's some definitely some colors i think today there were fluffy pinkish clouds earlier today it was crazy You could even add a sun in the back. So really you could get as creative as you want. I was expecting you to say, let's not get crazy now. You know, sometimes you just gotta let it run wild. You gotta let the creativity run wild. And the hardest thing is knowing when to stop because I feel like I always have trouble with that like I, I could just keep going I think you have to feel it in your heart do you feel it? I, not yet Do you feel it? Do you feel like this is it? You do? You, you feel us come back to I don't know how I trust. That's true. You could always come back to your clouds if you're still feeling it. So That's a good gonna, point. You're going to brighten it up a little bit more? You could always just throw a little dash in there. That, that's a really good point, Alex. I like it. Obviously. <laughs> Happy birthday, Luda! Woo! Did I say that already? I don't think I said that already. Alright, guys. So, I'm going to move forward with the next step. But we could always come back to the clouds to add more highlights in there. So I'm going to grab my large brush and I'm going to make my uh, palette paper just like moved over. I don't know how this happened. So I'm going to make a light to medium blue for my mountains. So I'm just going to actually you could use the color that you already have or mine is a little bit dry. So I'm just going to mix it again. So I'm going to do a lot of white and a little bit of blue. And you want the color to be just slightly darker than what you have in your clouds over here. Because this is where your mountains are going to go and you want them to appear like they're in the distance. So you want them to almost fade into the background. So I'm going to see how this color looks. I don't know. Maybe it's going to be too light. Maybe it's going to be too dark. Who knows? But I'm just going to test it out. So I'm going to create mountains in the back just by drawing curvy lines over here. And you could... Feel free to make your mountains a little bit bigger than what I'm doing. So I think this is too light, so I'm just gonna make it a little bit darker. So I'm just gonna make some curvy lines for my mountains. 
just like that and you can make them any shape that you want. And then I'm just gonna color them in with this light blue, phthalo blue. Can you pronounce the full name? No, I can't. <laughs> And it doesn't matter how they look on the bottom. Just don't worry about it because you're going to cover that up later. So I'm just covering it up. So my color is pretty close to the background, but just a little bit darker. And you could always play around with your shape and just change it a little bit if you want. Okay, so then while my paint is still wet, I'm gonna take my small brush and I'm gonna add some highlights to the mountains. I'm gonna dry it a little bit. I'm gonna take some white and then I'm gonna go along the edges of the mountain. So I'm gonna keep to the right side. So for everything, I'm gonna do a few highlights on the right side of these hills. And you could get crazy with your highlights. You could make them go down a little bit. And if yours look too light, you could always darken it up by going into it with a lighter blue. So I'm just adding some highlights here. And then you could pull a color that's a little bit darker than your mountains, just a little bit, not too much. And you could do some shadows as well. So I'm just getting a color that's a little bit darker than my mountains. And then I'm gonna go along the edge of the highlights and just add, oh, this is too light. I'm gonna add some shadows. And I'm mostly sticking to where the highlights are, so I'm doing it on the edge of the highlights, but you don't have to. You could add them wherever you want. And maybe you feel like you added too much of it, so you could always go back with the lighter blue and just cover them up. Which I think I'm gonna do.
of suspense, but what happened? <laughs> Ferrari, you can't leave us in suspense like that. Let us know what happened. The suspense is killing me. I don't know about you. I'm just focused on the mountain right now. So you could play around with the shades of your mountains. Oh no, Ferrari missed a big part. No worries. Let us know what you're up to and I'll catch you up. Have you done the clouds already? My pinky was like all the way out right now. You're so fancy. You did the basic shape of the clouds or the mountains? Oh, okay. So we did a uh, light blue for the mountains and then we added a few white highlights on the side of the mountains. So I kept mine on the right side of all the hills. So I just added a little bit of white to the paint. So just a little bit. And if it comes out too light for you, you could always add the light blue to it just so it's more subtle. And then you could also add some darker parts to it. Let me get this closer to the camera. <laughs> so you're just adding some lights to the, So here are your mountains and you're just adding white to the sides of your mountains and wherever else you want them. And if any of you guys are over shadows or you don't even want to attempt, you could just keep your mountains just one tone. So that way it'll just look like it's really far away in the distance. Yeah, so these are my mountains. I'm trying to color them in right now. So I'm just coloring them in with one tone and then I'm adding white highlights on the sides of them. And you could do a little bit less than half or just a little bit on the sides. It's really up to you. How's everyone else doing with their mountains? Killing it. You're killing it. So who's ready for the next part? Let me know. Oh, 
Okay, guys, so then I don't know why I'm moving this around, but so the next part is gonna be the grass. So you guys are gonna take your large brush again. I'm just gonna wash it. And we're gonna make a light green. How do you make a light green, Alex? It's a lot of pressure. It's blue and yellow and white. Fish. Mm. You actually don't need any white. Well, it's just it blue lighter? and yellow, but if you add more yellow to it, it becomes lighter and lighter. Okay. Obviously that was a, tr a trick question. Obviously a trick question then. Jesus. So I'm going to mix. Yes. You guys can't see what I'm mixing. So I'm going to mix blue and yellow, but the more yellow I add to it, the lighter it gets. <laughs> Start the whole thing over. Jana, is this your fifth painting? Okay, so I made some green. And now I'm gonna add my rolling hills. So I'm gonna start a little bit above where my sky is and I'm just gonna do a curve here and here. I'm actually gonna bring it up higher because I wanted to cover my mountains. I could even cover it a little bit more. So there's two hills here, and then I'm gonna do two more hills over here. So just like that. Right over my Val. second batch of mountains. Val. So then I'm gonna color these in with the light green. You guys can't really see what I'm painting, but this is my color here. So the more yellow I add to it, so I'm actually not even using any white, it's just blue and yellow. That's right. In theory, can you do it my way too? Um, it's just gonna come out like a baby green. Whatever that means. So, so like if you're the most wrong. You can try it out. And see what happens. It's gotta be mysterious, remember? It is. So I'm just covering this in here. And then I want the tops of my hills to be more yellow, so I could actually just take this yellow and just go in here with the yellow and it's gonna blend in and make this lighter green. Straight up yellow. And the same thing here. So from the tops of my hills, I'm gonna add more yellow to here. <laughs> All sort, sorts of power issues today. And then I'm also going to color in the bottom hills with the light green. So the more blue that you add to your green, it's just gonna make it a little bit darker.
So I'm gonna add a little bit more blue to my green and then I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna add more of the shadows on the bottom of these hills. So I'm just blending it right into the green. And if you added too much blue, you could always go back in with the lighter green. So just keep playing around with it. And then the same thing for these hills, I'm just going to add a little bit of the darker green to the bottom of these hills. And feel free to get messy with it. It doesn't need to be perfect. And we're back. Then And I'm going to add some darker green here as well. <laughs> and then here where these two hills meet each other, I'm just going to create a darker curve in here. And you could also blend that in a little bit. So just make sure guys that you can't really see your canvas underneath. So my paint over here is really thin. So I'm just going to go over it again with the color. Oh, this is too dark. So I also want my hills to be a little bit more of the yellow green at the top. So I'm just going to go in here with the yellow and I'm just going to add it on top over here and just blend it in because my paint is wet. So it's blending right into the green. And then I'm also going to add a little bit more yellow to the tops of these. Pretty good. Oh. 
Jana, how's your painting coming along? So I think I'm good on the grass. How's everyone? Okay, so we're gonna let the green dry a little bit before we do the flowers. So I'm just gonna wave it around a little bit. You can potentially use a blow dryer. I heard it works. On cool. You could grab a refill. I think it's neater right about now. What do you think, Alex? You can explore some traps. I just don't want to use the ice machine because it's going to be so loud. I can put on the ice. Okay, so I think mine is almost dry. And it, it doesn't need to be perfectly dry, just a little bit. So I'm gonna take my small brush and I'm just gonna wash it. And then I'm gonna make pink. How do you make pink? Do you wanna take a take guess? Incorrect. So I'm gonna mix red and white, just a little bit of red though, and a lot of white. You guys can't see what I'm mixing. And then I'm gonna add some flowers to the hail. So I'm just gonna do dots with my paintbrush and just scattering them around. Some smaller, some larger, all up on this hill. And you guys don't need to use pink. You could use yellow, you could use blue. You can use white, whatever colors you want. You could add some flowers that are closer together in clusters and then spread out some of the other ones. That's really full. <laughs> so my flowers are looking really <laughs> faded. 
because the paint is pretty pretty thin so i'm just gonna add another layer of pink on top of the dots that i already have just to thicken, thicken them up a little bit so i'm just going back in to these dots that i already have and just adding more of the pink You could add as much flowers as you want. You could actually go crazy with it and just do an entire hill of flowers if you wanted to. I'm just scattering them around a little bit, but feel free to go crazy with it. So then I'm going to add some yellow flowers, I think, or maybe white, maybe yellow. I don't know. I'll do yellow. Tickle the fancy. You guys could pick any color you want. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to add some yellow to the top of my hill. You could. It'll look, that's why it look, it's not like and I'm sure it'll look awesome. And feel free to add some white flowers as well if you want to. I just went crazy with the yellow. <laughs> I feel like my clouds need to be brightened up a little bit. What do you think, Alex? I don't know. Yeah, I like them bright, yeah. It's in the eye of the beholder. I might brighten up my clouds a little bit, so I'm just going to take some white. I support your fearless <laughs> endeavors. And I'm going to go in and make some of these highlights here a little bit brighter. Mm -hmm. 
So because the paint is already dry, it's hard for the white to blend. So now I have to go in here with the light blue and just blend it a little bit. It's a very risky situation. Delicate hands. See, this is when you don't really know when to stop. Hmm? That'll do, Piv. Well, it's broken. The shred line. I mean, it's actually both. Oh. It's actually both, in theory. I think, it is a bit, I think it is a line from Babe, too. Like, the Babe came before Shrek, right? Yeah. Well, that used to be my favorite movie. One of. It's when you have a few good ones you choose, at least. How's everyone doing with your flowers? Are you guys ready to move on? So for the next step, we're gonna make a light brown. Does anyone know how to make a light brown out of primary colors? Zero. It's a bit tricky. Zero, yeah. Do you want to take Red a and black? There's no black. Well, I don't know yet. Do you want to take a yes? No. Blue and red and something. Yellow. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna mix blue, red, and yellow, and we're gonna play around with it till it looks brown. Because sometimes you have a little bit too much blue, sometimes you have a little bit too much red, so it doesn't really look brown, and you have to mix in more of another color in order to make it look brown. Um, but we're also gonna add a little bit of white to it just to make it lighter. So just try to get the brown first and then add white to it. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna show this to you guys here in this tiny little area that I have. So you could see it. So I'm taking some yellow, some blue, and some red. And it's already looking pretty brown and I think I need to add a little bit more red to it because it's looking more green this actually looks pretty brown to me and then we're gonna add a little bit of white to it just to make it lighter and we're still using our small brush for this Precision. so Yes, precision is key here. So I'm actually going to mix more of it. Where you guys can't really see it. Actually, I'll just turn this around. Perfect. Creative problem solving. <laughs> so right now it looks more green, so I'm just going to add more red to it. So now it's looking a little bit more brown. And maybe I need to add more yellow. So just experiment until you get a color that's pretty close to brown. 
So then I'm gonna add some white to it. And we're getting this beige color. So I'm gonna take my brush and now we're gonna do the house. You ready for the house? Oh, I'm ready for the house. Okay, so it's really easy. It's probably something that you've done in kindergarten. So we're gonna do a triangle for the roof. So your house is gonna be on this hill right here. Well, that's where I'm making my house. You could make it anywhere you want. Don't tell me where to put my house. So um, actually, it's not going to be a triangle, it's going to be an upside down V. Is that the shape? An upside down V? An A. An A? Oh, that's the middle of upside down. Oh, maybe. <laughs> an up arrow, maybe? And then we're going to do a rectangle. for the base of the house. See, since, it, since it's on a hill, it's more of like a rhombus. A rhombus? Yeah, because you got the slanted sides because you're on the hill. I don't know what you just said. It's okay. So now we're gonna color it in using the brown. So I could fix the shape of my roof a little bit by making it more triangular if I wanted to. And then if you guys want, you could add an extension to your house. So on my original painting, I had a little rectangle on the side of it. So you guys can do that. You could add a bigger mansion in the back. It's really up to you. So I'm going to add a little rectangle for an extension. Maybe it's the garage. I don't know. So then I'm going to add white to my brush and I'm going to go over the roof with white so it stands out more. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. On the edge of my seat with anticipation. And the bold moves. So we're just outlining the roof with your white. And then we'll use the darker part of your brown. So if you guys don't see a darker color, you could just mix the brown again um, and don't add white to it. So I might need to remix it. So I'm gonna do some red, some blue, some yellow. It always comes out looking too green, so I have to add some more red to it. Maybe you're heavy on the, on the green things. So I'm just going to go over the left edge of the house with a darker color just to add a little bit of shadow to it. So it's just a little bit darker. 
and then I'm gonna use that dark brown to add a vertical line so that way the extension of my house is a little bit separated oh my house is like very slanted it's like about to topple over Peaceful on the hills. I feel like I want to be in this painting right now. I could just like draw you myself in it. there. You gotta finish it first, and then you can well, draw yourself in. Well, it's almost finished. So I have my little house. So then I'm gonna wash my brush, and I could do a little window. Maybe a door. So I'm going to use yellow. So I'm going to do a yellow circle for the window. And my paint isn't really dry yet, so it's a little, it's gonna be hard to see, so I might need to go back there and add it again. Ooh. It has one little window. It's like a window in the attic. <laughs> and you could add another window underneath if you want. I'm going to add a little window to this extension here because it's not the garage. It's like part of the house. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a crooked fence on the sides of the house using the light brown. So it's actually, it's a very, very light brown, the one that you used for your roof. Cause you wanna make sure that you could see it over the grass. So I'm just gonna add some vertical lines next to the house and they're going in different directions because I want my fence to be a little bit crooked. Not sure why. So I'm adding some vertical lines. I don't know if you guys can see this. So I think I'm going to make it a little bit lighter just so you could see it better. And you're just applying really, really light pressure with your brush, so that way you get really thin lines. Okay, there you go, you could kind of see it now. So then I'm gonna do some horizontal lines. Also, they're not gonna be perfectly horizontal, they're gonna be a little bit diagonal, because we want our fence to be a little crooked. for the house on the hills. I would still want to isolate there, even though the fence is crooked. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to do some vertical lines. And they're not even vertical, they're more diagonal. They're just pretty crooked looking. And then I'm going to do the horizontal lines.
And I'm just gonna add a little roof extension to the to the extension. <laughs> just so you could see it better. So we know that it's there. Just so we know that it's there. So there we have it. Sound I think music? actually last step would be to sign your name at the bottom. That's the final step. Which I never do for some reason. So there we have it, guys. The sound of music. So I hope that you share your painting with me. I really want to see what you came up with. So I have my um, Instagram name at the bottom, Creatively Box. So please tag me in your paintings. I really want to see what you guys have done. Right, Alex? I want to see it too. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, guys. So we have a paint party every Tuesday, every first, first Tuesday, Tuesday of the month. Thank you. So our next one is going to be on September 1st. So we are going to reveal the painting tomorrow oh, on Instagram. Oh. So watch out for that. And I hope you guys join me September 1st, first Tuesday of the month. All right, guys. Bye.